Okay, so I went to the store. I needed to pick up a, a specialty um, shim, basically a washer. I was able to find some what are called spacer bushings. And I got different, you know, sizes and thicknesses. And I was a actually able to find some. Um, hopefully, they will work. But and these things are actually pretty expensive. This, each one of them is like ranges from about a dollar fifty to about two fifty for one spacer. Okay, um, this thing's jacked up. There's definitely a problem with the alignment of the wheels and I brought that bottom one in there was a bushing just like this guy right here at the bottom and I took this out and replaced it with a, a few washers so basically cut that distance in half um, and now I'm gonna actually have to move the uh, the pulley in just a bit to accommodate that to keep it in line with the, um, you know, everything in line on that bottom wheel for the belt. So I checked it again and still it's just not good. And here's the problem. It's one thing if you get the tracking right. I mean, it's the tracking's not right, but I would be willing to deal with it if the blade was square to the table on the back side. That's the real problem, is this thing completely out of square. So when you adjust these things, you know, a lot of people talk about the wheels running true, but look at this. I mean, that is crazy. It's tight up here. It's down there. It's like three sixteenths of an inch. That's a significant difference. And, I, and I'm fairly certain that it's because the wheels are not coplanar and I basically have to f figure out the best way to fix it so right now um, I'm about ready to just switch it all the way back to the way it was when I got it and then start from there but first I'm just going to take a reading of where it's at now because I've already done all this stuff so right now what I'm going to do is um, if I take these wheels off, it's not really going to totally help. I mean, take the table off. It's not going to totally help me in this situation because of the frame of the saw. Uh, it, it will help a little bit, but it's the frame of the saw is actually in the way of the wheels. So because I can't touch the wheels, I'm actually going to just temporarily affix these blocks to the straight edge. So I just ripped these and these guys are going to go right here, right on that wheel. And this is going to be secured with some 2P10 quick set glue. And I'm just going to put it on there temporarily. That stuff can break off. So I'm not worried about it sticking. Um, and so basically it'll be like that. So I can, the first step is to figure out exactly where these things need to go so I don't make a mistake there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. That's going to be the top one. The bottom one needs to be a little shorter. I'm sorry, it needs to be a little longer. The top one's shorter. So I'm going to take the bottom one, put it up. Mark that. All right, now I've got two lines, and that means that I can go ahead and do this now. Glue. The Rhino glue is very similar to the 2P10, but it's uh, it's what I have with me here, um, more accessible in other words. I don't want to open up a brand new container of 2P10. Um, so hopefully this is okay. 
this stuff's actually pretty cool because it's got the it's ultra tough it's got the um, uh, shock resistant uh, formula so it might be a little harder to get off this but it should still be pretty good and this accelerator is done I have hardly any of that left so let's go ahead and put this guy on And just the real key is just to make sure you get the piece on and it's not bumped or anything. But I just got to the point where I'm like, I, I'm, I'm at my wits end with this thing. So um, if this was a normal like 14 inch saw, generally speaking, when you take off the uh, table, you have full access to the wheels in there easily. But the frame of this thing is in the way, so you can't can't do that and uh, you know there's really no way to it's all welded so there's no way to change that you got to do something like this so we'll try this and we'll see if this stuff allows this wood to stick we take this straight edge now let's see So now what I'm going to have to do is get down at the bottom there and just kind of take a reading and see what's what. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can put a little light on the subject. Okay, you can see we are touching there. here there is a decent sized gap it's hard to measure but I can say it's it's about the thickness of this washer yeah I mean it's again it's hard to say because that wheel, that rubber kind of, yeah, I would say it's about the thickness of that washer, give or take, just a little less. So that washer thickness is probably a eighth of an inch. We'll call it three thirty seconds gap. Now, what do I do with that? I think there's a, an adjustment that can be made. Those bolts you see those bolts right there okay see those bolts that guy and the one below i think those do something but i don't know what i'm gonna have to uh do some research i wish i could figure that out because i think those might be the answer to this problem but I don't know um, got to do something I can't have this being like this but again it still doesn't doesn't solve the fact that this is completely out of square back here I mean you would think one would think I could take the washer but I put in there and push it back so you're back to factory specs it's just that 
adjustment bolt did something. So I think I need to see if I can adjust that. And again, I might have to take this guy and bring this one out after I fix this. Man, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to get it square without shimming the table. And I think maybe that's what might have to happen. It can't be. You can't have a factory Laguna made by Mieber, whatever, have a blade or a table that's that out of whack. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to do some uh, figuring on this guy. Okay, don't know for sure about these bottom bolts. I, I'm pretty sure they adjust the angle of the bottom wheel, but I haven't found anything that will help me determine what is what. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm just going to guess that if I loosen up the top bolt just a little bit and adjust the bottom bolt, because my wheel is tracking to the front of the blade, I have a feeling that's going to pull the tracking back to the back of the blade. But like I said, I don't know. And quite frankly, this is one of those things where you just kind of have to, you know, try your best and see what happens. So before I can do anything now, I have to figure out if I have the right size wrench. Yes, I do. 13 millimeter. Okay. So I'm going to take, well, um, this guy right up here again, is, it, it's open at the top of that bottom wheel. I'm going to take the tension off of this guy. All right, that tension is off. And I can uh, go ahead and, and uh, see if I can adjust this guy at all. Okay, so I loosened that top one. Didn't do anything. So I'm going to loosen the bottom one. But I have, in order to do that, I have to loosen the um, lock bolt on it. The lock nut. All right, that's loosened up. Now I can see if I can adjust the actual bolt that I believe is going to do the adjusting. And let's see what it does. So this is going to be the real kicker. If I tighten it, it seems to me that it's going to push the top wheel forward. I mean the top of the wheel forward. Because um, it seems like it's going to be pushing up on the shaft or whatever. So let's see what happens. There's another bolt that it's possible is locking everything together. Yes, it is. It is working. Okay, that definitely did. Um, it did push the wheel up. And what look it looks to me like the wheel is parallel with the upper. Well, I should say it was parallel with the upper. Now it's the tension, so all right. Let's see if you can So you remember that space that was there before, right? About that space so now look at that that space is they're equal yeah 
Yeah, they're equal. So what does that tell me? That tells me that I can take off this bottom wheel, accept back to the reset, and I can um, pull it out, put a shim in there. That will be roughly that, you know, about that size right there. Okay, actually, um, I think I went a little too far. I'm gonna turn this top bolt down just a touch. Yeah, there you go. You can see that thing move. All right, I'm gonna go back again. Now that I've got everything. Um, Kind of loosened up it it tends to adjust pretty quickly all right so that i'm gonna make that bottom come up a little That is really, that's really close. I'm just gonna close the, or um, open that top one up just a touch. You almost gotta use a wrench just to get a, a fine adjustment on it, just barely. That is pretty good. Okay, so that's what I've got right now. I think it's looking good. All right, that looks really good. So I'm gonna lock these in. So again, these are the bolts I've been working with. So this one here and that one there, you gotta loosen those lock, bolt, lock nuts on them and then um, adjust the top one and the bottom one accordingly. So what I did was um, this is the one, this top one, if you think about it pushing down on the shaft, it's going to pull the top in. The bottom one's going to push up on the shaft, so it's going to push the um, top of the wheel out. So however you're doing it, but this has to be loosened up right there. I think that's the lock for the the shaft so you want to make sure that you do and this one just loosened up barely and then these are loose pretty right now and now it looks like it's pretty good so I'm going to tighten these down meaning I'm going to tighten up down those lock nuts and then um, tighten that one as well so I'll tighten that one first actually this one and then do those other ones but um, I think I'm going to take some uh, just you know another measurement just make sure it's right and see if it changes when I lock it down um, see if the um, measurements changed at all you know sometimes when you lock things down they get a little out of whack that looks pretty good now I now that I know how to adjust this I'm, I feel a lot better about it um, that's awesome okay so I'm glad I saw those bolts because nowhere around um, can't find anything on the internet. And it's really hard working in this tight corner. Definitely. Now, be 
because I have to take this wheel off again. I'm going to put a shim on it. I'm going to go ahead and take everything off. The, the blade's detentioned already. I've got to put the belt back on. Um, I think I'm going to... I'll wait until everything's done to put the belt back on. So, this thing has to come out, right? So a little bit bigger than, than that washer, which is what I had in there. But if I take these two, these three, it puts me a little greater than, I might actually be perfect. So, all right. Check it again. Let's tension the blade up. Make sure it's in the right spot on the blade. All right. Now we can check this again. Please be good. Pretty darn close. All right, how's it tracking? Oh, no kidding. I think it's tracking actually. Yeah, woo, baby, success. This thing is tracking. Now, again, we are still. Right? No doubt we're out of square here. <clears throat> Let me check it. We are definitely out of square. Which really freaking sucks. Yeah, I mean, this thing hasn't changed much at all. So this table is out of square. I'm going to have to shim the back up. So I'm going to have to take the bolts off the, the trunnions and shim it. Um, actually shim the front uh, to take this guy up because it's definitely out but the it's tracking it's tracking so I am stoked it's actually tracking right in the middle so what I'm what I can do is take all right let's watch this wheel here let's watch the blade track let's see so right now the blade is almost perfectly centered a little further back than I would normally like. Um, but it's pretty darn close. Yeah. Where is it at in the bottom? Exactly the same position in the bottom as it is at the top. So uh, you, that you hear the brush, by the way, um, when that does that. So that guy is tracking perfectly.
perfectly. Um, if you could take the um, blade and shift it forward uh, just barely, that would be fine too. But, and I think the gullets are right directly. Let's see that um, the gullets are on the front center of that wheel. So I think we are in the exact spot that we should be in. Yeah, look at that. I think we're good. So the only, the only thing that possibly could be is if I took the tracking knob and tilted it forward a little bit. Let, let me see if I can do that. So interesting when you go backwards it kind of changes the position a bit that is interesting but when you go forward Tracks right there, and the bottom is perfectly centered. So I got them both perfectly centered. Not sure what I hear, but I'm gonna. I think I just hear the guides. Okay. That thing, um, look at that thing. It's tracking perfectly. We definitely solved that issue. All right. So the only thing I need to do is um, put the, uh, belt on now because I put those spacers um, I may have to bring this pulley out a little it might not be perfectly uh, straight but we'll see bottom and then rotate it and it it went back on um, okay so that thing is good to go That seems pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. So next thing is uh, I need to undo these bolts and I need to get some shims in there. And I believe it's the only way you can adjust the table to the blade is to raise it up from here with shims. Those and of course they're hex um, bolts here. What I'm talking about. See that guy? That blade is, is touching right there. 
You look at that, what, how open that is. So that's what I need to do. I need to lift up this front in order to gap that top. Hard. That is just crazy that it's taking this long. Uh, you probably can't even see this. Let me see if I can shine a light through this. That is square. Nice. Finally, my God. Ever in a day. Ah, okay, so that looks good. From what I can see, we're good. I'm gonna tighten this up. It's off a little bit. Okay, so what I need to do is play this tension, and there's nothing on it as far as the guides. So what I need to do is just adjust this table ever so slightly. Since it's got to go up, I'm just going to take this. Um, that's a big one. I don't think I have a three quarter inch. I don't think I do in the shop here. I use these adjustable guys. Okay, that looks decent, but let me let me see what it looks like when I lock this in. some imperfections in it, certainly. Uh, maybe some pins. <laughs> All right. Well, that looks good. We are there. So that guy looks really good right there. And then of course the back is, you already saw that. Let's check it out again. And that That's really nice, perfect. Okay, so with this blade, it's perfectly plumb and it's tracking perfectly. And like, that's great. And uh, the only thing left to do, hopefully this doesn't screw anything up, is just to tighten that guy down without adjusting anything else. Okay, so now the only thing that left to do is to actually adjust the guides, right? Um, so as you obviously use this, you're gonna know that you gotta adjust the guides. And this particular saw uses what are called European guides. I think I'll probably end up getting different guides because I don't necessarily love these ones, but you know, it is what it is. And the, the goal is to not have them touching the gullets, right? That's kind of the, the goal. So I can take these, slide it back ever so slightly. Now one thing that's nice about bearings, side bearings, is that you don't really hear the constant scratching that you do on these. And that's nice. 
because these you're pretty much always going to hear that sound and I know that's the brush but the um, guides as well okay. um, <coughs> this guy looks like it could be adjusted forward just a touch and I think you got to have a wrench for that um, Definitely, you know, not great to have that, but that, that adjustment's not that easy to do, but uh, it's the only way to get that to slide up, you have to loosen up that bolt there. All right, so the guard, everything looks like it's going nicely without interfering with the movement. Okay, so that looks good. Now I could have lots of things that are out of whack, but at least I feel confident that this, you know, reasonably speaking, is good. All right, so let's fire this up. For the first time, fire this thing up. for sure that blade is garbage but it's something um, it definitely is not a very good blade <laughs> uh, that being said let's take a look at the cut so I just cut that guy and it would appear to me that the bottom and the top look to me like they're equal which tells me that that's pretty square. Um, not, not bad at all. But it definitely, a, the blade is just piss poor. Um, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have a, uh, I don't think it's very sharp. You know, you know what I mean? But that's okay. It's better than nothing. So the first thing I need to do with this is just get a new blade. Um, but I feel really good about this. Awesome. Just doing that little bit. Quite a bit of dust. It's amazing how quickly that builds up. That little bit. Wow. Caked the whole inside of the <laughs> saw. Okay. A lot to be said about having good dust collection. All right. Thank you. Um, 
I hopefully this helped somebody out there that was trying to do some work on their bandsaw because I definitely learned how to adjust those bottom wheels. All right, thanks.